for today. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to do like a little bit of a bold look and then do the big cat wing that I did the other day. I've been really into it. I cannot perfect it every single time, so I'm still learning how to perfect it, but I do know a couple people had asked how I do my wing eyeliner and it has changed so many times over the years and months and days so I just play around and mess with it. I really enjoy doing, enjoyed, oh my god I cannot talk over here, enjoyed doing that big wing so we're gonna try to recreate that big wing but with a different makeup look so I don't like continue to uh, bog you down with purple because purple is one of my like inner favorite colors like I love pink but and blue and all that but just like purple is just something else so anyways we are gonna do that so yeah <laughs> okay so I did one side uh and I'm going to do the other side on camera so uh I talk about you can be all the time uh as being a really really good brand um all the time they're super pigmented and really affordable and then this is their pretty all set palette with all these really really pretty colors they have the neutral side on this side kind of a, like a pretty type of neutral in the middle and then they have the really pretty wild side and this is what i was playing with uh with the give me a second to close that side so i don't get all over my face but this is the blues that i was playing with um so we're gonna start with the navy dark blue first and create like your shape okay and we're just going to take this um little brush uh cleaner in between uh it gets all your eyeshadow off and everything it's just from dollar tree which is awesome because i paid five like five or six dollars for this one that came from the tj maxx so and i've seen these things sell for like 20 bucks but literally like they're not even worth 20 bucks and you can take them out and wash them and I have like three of them so that way when one gets dirty and I forget because I have this one for my paint which I just got a Mayron face palette from my mom and that was awesome and I have done a few looks but I plan on doing more and I am so happy about this very colorful awesome paint palette so I can get back back into doing my artwork but anyways so I have one for that, and then two for when this one gets dirty, and I can just switch a room and do that. So yeah, anyways, lifesaver, uh, Dollar Tree. So anyways, I'm going to start with a Morphe M507. It's just a, you can take pretty much any brush you want to, but for me, it's just like a pointed brush that I can go back and forth uh, to create like the shape, because I don't have much of a lid, as you can tell, it kind of just is like a hooded lid so yeah all right so I'm hoping I'm not gonna pull the mirror in front of my face when I do this um, but you want some type of mirror whether it's like a head-on mirror or this type of big mirror where you can pull it down at an angle and then look at your face work <laughs> structure so uh for me i'm just gonna slightly pull the mirror down and then look down and then go and create a guide i'm gonna start on the outer corner which it really doesn't matter which way you start but for me i'm just starting on the outer corner and pulling it all the way to like the nose bridge and then just repeating that step until i get it darkened so give me a second another uh how to get it darkened if you don't want to continue to blend is you can just because uh, you're going to blend everything in afterwards, but you can tap the brush uh, in the areas that you want darker and everything. Um, so that way you don't have to continue to like swipe it back and forth and try to blend right then. I would suggest blending afterwards because even though this is like really dark and all that, you can um, blend the like edges out and it will look better after everything. So this will look better. <laughs> at the end okay so then when you're satisfied with that then um i'm gonna take a lighter color which will be this color a mixture between these two colors but i think i'm gonna go with this one first i think that's what i went with for on this side so we're gonna go with a lighter color and take a littler floofier brush and then this one is just the morphe m562 brush and then pick up the color okay give me a second 
pick up the color and then it will be on there and then you can just tap it off and then this is where you'll like blend the outer edges so you'll still have some of that other color but it just won't be as dark so you can blend however you want to um and as far up I have a horrible time of like trying to blend and bringing it way too close to my eyebrow but that's just me if you're better at blending your eyeshadows where it's not all the way up in your eyebrows then you might be better off but okay so I'm also gonna pick up a bigger Fluffria brush because I wanted to like not like make this color where you cannot see it but okay and then uh go closer up into my eyebrow but I don't know if that makes any sense for me it does but like I didn't want to mess up my line because like I like kind of want to keep the line right there so I didn't want to mess up the line so I was trying to like get a a uh, smaller detail brush when I was like getting close to that but another way <laughs> I'm horrible at talking and trying to explain things but another way if you want to just lightly tap um, over that little area then uh, just to get it somewhat blended out but you don't want to mess the line up but you want it just a little bit blended out you can tap the brush in those particular little area areolas Oh, areas and then do this and it kind of works and you can also pick up more product and do that too but anyway so moving on to the next step because I talk way so much um, I'm going to grab a fluffy slash flat brush and I'm like literally looking for one but I'm having str struggles over it so this one's the M44 no M433 and I'm just going to pick up that medium shade, which is that one right there. And then I am keep hitting y'all, so give me a second. Okay, okay, just going to pick up that and then shake it because I don't want, I want the fallout to get off, but I don't want the whole entire color to go off. But okay, and then I'm just going to tap it all over the lid. This is pretty much just a base for the shimmer eyeshadow to lay down, but like, without there it just being empty with nothing underneath it so this doesn't have to be pretty or any type of certain pattern or anything and then I'm gonna pick up a tighter brush that's still like a flat brush but it's gonna be smaller instead of bigger it's gonna be like the smaller tighter brush and then um this is the M456 and I'm still gonna pick up that medium color but now I'm gonna pull it like closer right underneath all of the open space under where we like created the little little line that you can see it looks so so messy but it will be a lot better once everything is blended out it just looks horrible and I hate the process of makeup because I am hard to see like the ending of things and I'm like ah oh, it just looks horrible but yeah Okay, so with the same tighter, smaller brush, I'm just going to go back to that dark navy color and then pull it all the way back into like this little triangle section, uh, meeting up with where that line went, but then I'm going to keep it like in the outer corner. Um, and then right after this, then I'm going to go in with the whoop, brush is falling. But Game of Thrones, Urban Decay, and I guess that's just all it's called. But anyways, uh, it looks like this. You, It's kind of cool. My friend gave it to me. Um, but like it opens up. Woo. Okay, it opens up and then like this little thing comes out. I have not watched Game of Thrones, so no, I do not know any of this. But and then on the side, it's got like a little book and then you pull it out and I cannot show you. Okay, and then you pull it out and then it has like the little, little shadow. So that's kind of cool. So. Uh, and apparently I scratched one of them. I hate when I do that. I nick the top of it and you can see. And I'm like, I hate that. Anyways, okay. So we're going to uh, go with the... Oh, ah, I grabbed the wrong one. We're going to take that palette. But we're going to take that for the black. And I'm not even ready for the black yet. So, okay. Uh, yeah, and I hate that every single palette I've ever messed with, the blues always have fallout. So blacks and blues always have fallout. No matter what palette I've messed with, it always happens. So anyways, and blue for redheads just looks crazy as you can tell already. So anyways, 
Okay. Ah, no. Okay. I'm dropping palettes and I can't talk. This one is what I was trying to go in with the first one. It's called uh, uh, Beauty with an Edge. And then, um, and then so if I can, no, can't even get it back into the palette. Okay, this one also, you just push it on the side and then it comes out like that. So, yeah. But, okay, so now what I was trying to go with was the shade called Dive. And that is such an awkward thing to see yourself in the camera in the background while recording because you already feel silly enough recording sometimes. And then you just see yourself and you're like, what am I doing? with my life but anyways okay so I just use my finger because that's like the best way to get like an eyeshadow shimmer to come out um and be like the most pigmented vibrant color ever and you can kind of control the area where you want it compared to like a brush I guess you can do that I've never really had great experience using a brush with that I used to do cut creases and some of my cut creases came out but I always had issues we're doing cut creases and trying to get it on the brush and spraying it with sprays and wetting it and all this kind of stuff and it just didn't do right. So it doesn't work for me. So if it works for you, then that's great. If it doesn't work for me. So yeah. Anyways. Um, okay. When you're done with that shade and perfect it how you want it, then go back in with the other shade. And you don't have to have these palettes. Mind you, whatever you have will work for you. I promise. Probably come out better than... My face and your hair color will probably look better with it and all that but anyways okay so i'm gonna take white walker which is this like light blue color and take it on my pinky and then pop it in the inner section of like this little area right here and then take hard home which is a really really pretty like champagne color and then just pop it right there in the very very inner corner so so that way that little area will like like splice up oh pop oh my god I can't talk I talk too fast and then I can't talk and I get all around the place but anyways okay so mm, going back with this little detail brush I'm not gonna knock it off because it like like brush it off or whatever because it has a navy blue in there but I'm gonna get the shade that says take the black and it has all these bunch of sparkly black uh, specks in it and then I'm just gonna pop it straight to the outer corner and mix it with the blue color okay so I'm seeing a little bit of spacing right there um, so I'm just gonna pick up some more of that navy blue and try to lay it down too um, I don't know why that happens to me I don't know if it's just because I don't put um, primer or concealer down so maybe that's why that happens because I don't I try to keep a lot of foundations and primers and concealers and all that off my face now because I have some issues with dry skin um, happening so I try my best to not have to go and use all that. So I don't know if it's having the little patchiness because of me not using stuff or maybe I'm just doing something wrong. It doesn't happen all the time, so I don't know. I just take the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner. This is such a mouthful. Anyways, this is the Please Be In Focus. Okay, anyways. And then that's how it looks like inside. I'm hoping I'm not too close for the camera, but hopefully you can see everything. Yeah, I don't know. That might be too close, not really sure if it is or not. Hopefully it's not, but anyways. And then that's the, I don't know. It looks like on screen that that's in focus, but anyways. And then I just take a detailed little Morphe, M15 brush. You can also get one in the Anastasia, which is the 12, number 12, and then you can, I have way too many of these, but then the Kat Von D one, which is uh, brush number 70. So literally you can pick up any of these. Um, I kind of prefer to go with this one first to like get it, I'm like off camera now, but anyways, to get it uh, like, okay, brush in the thing. And then, uh, okay, to lay down the first little line. 
because it like spreads out further and then okay this is going to be tricky but and then go halfway through and then come down so then you have your line like that and then oh, and then go backwards I'm not good at explaining at all I can only show I am so sorry for that one day maybe I will be better at explaining but for now I suck I'm sorry okay and then I'm just gonna pause camera and then fill it in okay uh, it looks sloppy but we're gonna fix it up so um, I'm gonna take this really really tiny little detail aid brush uh, and it's called Winnie Nails Nail Art Brush and I got it from Sally Beauty and it was like $2.99 so it's like one of the littlest brushes I ever have but we're gonna I'm hoping that you can see this but go in the inner corner and then pull it back to the brush so that way it makes that like faded little tiny area into the big cat eye so yeah and then also you can take it and just go above like your where the cat eye starts to clean up the little line oh my god i hope i'm making sense also i'm gonna take a uh like liquid eyeliner too um to help all of that oh oh i forgot the little cat wing that i do inside oh my god okay give me a second let me find my brush okay this one okay morphe m250-1 and it is just a eyeliner brush i swear i hope the camera is picking up on that but anyways okay so i'm gonna go inside my eye i really hate this part because i hate things going inside my eye but okay I'm gonna try to like flatten it down um like when I'm brushing it to try to get like a flatter point um and then use the flat part to go down inside my eye so it spreads out better I hate this part when you feel satisfied with that after you're done crying uh take the f like how i showed where you flatten the brush again i hope that you can see this but when you flatten the brush down and it's like at a point slash angle or whatever try to go inside your eye look down and then come back out you can take any liquid eyeliner i legit have way too many of them but this one's the more expensive one. This is uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex um, liquid eyeliner. This one is the cheaper one, and this is uh, Wet n Wild Break Proof. And then this is a felt tip, but it's still liquid eyeliner. And then this one is by Maybelline Master Precision All Day. I cannot talk. This one I prefer because it's a felt liner. If you're not doing like the gel, uh, I prefer this one. It has more control when you are doing your wing, but these ones I prefer when you want the most liquid to come out so you can um, have like it dry down better, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain that better, but anyways, I'm gonna take this one momentarily and then try to clean up this liner, so. Like anywhere that is open where you see that um because sometimes the gel likes to separate especially for like my eye for some reason it likes to separate um I don't know why it may it could be the brushes that I'm using okay but then I go from the little outer corner of my eye and then flick the brush up again I'm hoping you can see this I really hope that you can see this I flatten like I'm taking the brush on the cap and trying to flatten to give it an edge so that way when I do the tail you feel like you messed up then you just take your makeup wipe or whatever you use to wipe everything away and then you go and clean up everything go 
with the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensation. And then the wand just looks like this. I prefer this over most mascaras nowadays. Uh, not because it was all the hype, but it actually does work compared to like a lot of uh, mascaras. And I don't even have that long of lashes, but if you go underneath your lashes and then like wiggle the brush at the same time, like roll it so you're like rolling and wiggling, rolling and wiggling, and like you're turning and wiggling. So like you start here and then you roll it and you're turning and whatever it, this, for this actual mascara, it works the best for me because I've tried many mascaras and it, they do not do as well as this one and I don't have that much I don't have that much to my lashes but this one has been the best so far and that's not because of the whole hype that's actually because I tried it wanted to know if it was worth the hype and to me it's worth the hype so I recommend this mascara but that's just me because I've also tried different other mascaras and a couple of them somewhat work but to me this one works the best and it's like the most affordable mascara too so we're gonna try these lashes and um just go with my own glue that i already know that will dry quicker so that this glue might dry it just might dry a little bit slower but i really don't want to put these lashes on because i was going to go wipe all this makeup off and go to bed but for the purpose of i wanted to try to put lashes on in general for the look I'm going to try and do it so okay you can uh, this is what they look like they're really pretty okay and you take the band and curl the band to get it to shape in a circle and then you Stick it closer to the outer edge to kind of like define like how much you need to cut off and So for you know what? Okay, instead of me sticking down. I'm just gonna stick them on top Okay That that's really pretty. Okay. I'm just gonna yeah y'all are gonna witness this But I'm not gonna stick them down because uh, they are kind of uh, having their own little stuff on them but okay so we're just gonna stick them like that and then just for the purpose of the video to have lashes on also I could not go this would de definitely be like a date see how straight they come and then when you like curl them they become like rounded off and everything but okay so I could only do this like if this was like party type of makeup because when I close my, or like open my eye to the full extent, it like hits my eyebrow and I don't know, it just feels really weird. I'm not the person who normally wears eyelashes. I don't know, I just, I feel really weird with eyelashes on, but yeah, that's just me. So, okay, again, I suck at putting eyelashes on, but I know it's something to do with like going towards the outer edge of the eyelash. And then trying to close your eye and get it close to your lash line as possible. Oh, give me a second. Okay. So, completed look and the lashes. Uh, which I think lashes make things prettier. It's just hard for me to wear lashes and feel like I'm not trying to be someone I'm not. But, I don't know. <laughs> off and um yeah and it's not permanent so anyways it's just for fun uh and i think this looks really pretty oh the lips are the lip liner by lady ladies night and it's by you can be again also and i don't really know what shade this is i just know it's like a like mauve color and that's for the liquid or for the lip liner and then the topper is just by joe joa and uh, it's called TMI Velvet Lip Color. 
and then it's uh called you up so yeah anyways and that's just a cream that goes on top of your lips which smells like sunscreen so and then the jewels are by dollar tree and they just come in like these multiple different color packs and i just chose to do the blue theme so yeah Whoa, okay like i think two hours later and i uh have completed this look yeah but okay so hopefully i kind of explained how to do the eyeliner but i will do another video um probably with more of a neutral color instead of like the bold blue color but i just wanted something that was like really fun and really pretty but also showing the big cat wing which now you can barely see it because of uh all the makeup but so i will have to do another makeup tutorial with the wing but with more of a natural look so anyways i hope you like it i like the look so yeah anyways i will see you next time so bye y'all